Welcome to my daily Tomb Raider 1 series, everybody. Before we start, I'd appreciate you guys watching this through and then letting me know your thoughts in the comment section so I can improve and grow my small channel. And now on to today's episode. Adla Technologies, that's the, the woman that betrayed us. Relocated now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my, my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiogen, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, the pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. And so we arrive in Greece. Oh, let's quickly switch guns, because this is the uh, level I was talking about when I told you that the uh, lions are going to be jumping us right off the gate. Alright, where are they? I remember it. Nice. Now we can save in peace, I guess. Alright, so actually this is one of those levels I do not remember much about. So let's see how we fare in this one. Switch to the Magnums first. Oh, and I think it's time we uh, replenished our ammo. Let's do that. Just in case somebody doesn't remember, that's the cheat code for uh, replenishing all your ammo. Let's quickly run around. Because I don't know, I think there is monkeys or some weird new enemy in this level. Let's see if I remember correctly. Alright, so quickly sweeping the area actually reveals nothing. Okay, so... Let's see, what can we do here? Obviously we can jump atop those pillars. And there is a door here. That I'm guessing will not open for us. Yep. That much was certain. There is also a block that we can move here. And what seems to be pressure points. So if I move this block onto this omega symbol something is bound to open, right? Alright, so I'm getting on the block because I anticipate enemies coming out. Let's see. I guess that's not the case. Alright. One clever thing to do in Tomb Raider, and instead of drawing your guns like this and ascending, you can keep your guns drawn out and simply jump onto places like this, so you are ready when the enemies come. Yeah, I can hear the monkeys, come on. Yeah, I knew something was up in there. Oh jeez, there's another one. <laughs> I did not remember about the second one though. The second one caught me by surprise. 
Right, so before I step onto this, what are we dealing with here? Yeah, that closes the door behind me, okay. So we have a lever. Something happened, something moved. I heard a, I heard a faint bass sound. Let's check upstairs, let's see if there's any nasty surprises. Four monkeys waiting for us. There's another switch up there, interesting. So what does this one do? Well, something opened. No idea what, though. Oh, that opens the door we came from, interesting. Why did a monkey spawn up there? Maybe an, a door opened. Let's see. Interesting. So a monkey spawned up here out of thin air. Maybe something happened on the other side. Let's check. Nope, neither. So whatever happened has happened outside, I guess. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, that's Pierre! Oh, jeez. Where is he? I think he's immortal right now, so we cannot kill him. We can only chase him away. We're gonna be chasing him through the entire level. Or actually, he's gonna be chasing us, I think. So I think he left now. Let's quickly save. All right, now I think we need to start climbing things. Right, so we can jump there. Okay, I should not have taken a run jump. And can we reach that place then? I think it's a bit too far away. I don't think we can reach that. Yeah, I remember correctly. I was always confused at this point. About what to do with these pillars. So let's see, is there another one? I think... If I push this block one more time, I could probably climb onto the pillar that is to my left. So I think I can reach this place now. Now that looks like a run and jump. Could even reach that place. Jump to this area. You say I you should pastor, you say I think you should push that rock to the other side. Maybe for now though we, uh, what I did worked. If we get stuck, we will try that as well. But I think we are on the correct path right now. Sorry if it seems I'm reading your messages a bit late. That's uh, that's the stream latency's uh, fault. All right, can we reach that now? Should be able to. Uh, let's do this around and jump. Nice, another large med pack.
All right, so now let's continue and move onto that door. I don't know if it's gonna open for us though. Should I actually jump there right away? I was worried about Lara hitting her head on the roof. So that door is not opening, but there's another place we can visit there. Oh, and you know, Pastor, you might have been right. That's probably where I needed to go in the first place. So pushing the block on the other side. Yep, you were correct. So uh, what I did actually amounted to us getting a large med pack. Which is not bad, all things considered. We're gonna need it probably down the road anyway. Can I push it from this side? No, actually I cannot. I have to go down. Interesting. So because of that slight elevation, I can only push it from here. As I move it onto that pressure plate, that's probably gonna open up the other door as well, isn't it? <sighs> yep, that's exactly what happens. Nice. So we got two places to visit actually now. Okay, we're gonna move this back now. Yeah, we have to move this back. I should actually have left the block on the other side, right where it was. But instead of jumping towards right, I should have jumped towards left, or the, towards the other pillar. Okay, I think I got it now. So let's push it one more time. And now we should be able to jump onto this pillar and then onto that one. So many doors in this game. And if I remember correctly, down the road, there's even uh, name doors like Neptune's door, Damocles door and things like that. It gets crazy with doors in this game. Alright then, so... Oh, this is one of those jumping puzzles. Yeah, so you gotta... How do I have to jump? I have to jump backwards, I think, over here. Yeah, I didn't do that correctly. Alright, what am I doing wrong? Let's see. It doesn't work for a reason. Oh, I have to jump on this one first, then on the other one. Okay, cool. So, man, these old games. <laughs> Let's actually take a step back. Let's be on the middle. <coughs> oh, still not? Come on. <laughs> Alright, so what should I do? Should I be closer to the edge, maybe? Yep, that did it. Alright, so now... I'm actually gonna be saving the entire way because these jumps... are not easy. So now obviously I need to jump there. That will take me over here. And that will allow me to reach that thing up there. Okay. Alright, let's take a step back. Nice. Is that a secret area? Yep. 
as denoted by the sound. So this was not mandatory, interesting. Well, that is a long fall down, though. I don't want to fall all the way down that way. So that door actually did not lead to anything. Uh, which kind of has me wondering. We need to go there. Oh, so that door is now permanently open. Okay, cool. Now I get it. Okay. So the boulder does not need to stay in the place it is. Okay, can we go there? No, not right now. Can I at least jump over there? So I do not have to do the entire way around. Let's see, let's try it. Seems kind of low though, I don't think I will make it. Ah, here it goes. Oh, actually we did, nice. I really love the air sound effect in this stage. There might be no music, but the sound effects are actually very nice. Well, taking uh, into account always how old this game is, obviously. Okay, so we're gonna fall. Definitely a good place to save. Because I have no idea what lurks on the other side of this slope. Let's actually put the guns down. I might need to jump. Oh, damn it! Crocodiles! Let's run! <laughs> oh, damn crocodiles! Oh, quickly! Quickly, the crocodile is coming! Nice. All right. Can I take him out now? Nice. One less crocodile to worry about. There's an opening upstairs. Interesting. All right. So what happened now? Did that deplete the water? Probably. Yeah, that drained the water. Nice. Are there any more crocodiles down here? Oh man, there is a level up ahead. But there is like a ton of crocodiles. I always hated that level. Oh, so, speaking of a uh, lot of doors, this was actually the level I was talking about. I did not remember it. But this is where all these uh, named doors are. Okay, definitely a lot of saving required in this one. Alright, so. And I think there's a lot of bats in this uh, area as well, so let's be careful. And even uh, lions and cougars, things like that, downstairs. Like, on the ground floor. Alright, so first things first, it looks like we need to jump across. Ooh, almost fell down. So where do we need to go, actually? This is... A puzzle. I, oh, there is a lever down there. Okay, let's go for that. Why 
what does this open? This opens Thor. Okay. Where is Thor? It's not this door. Oh, you can hear the bats. Where are the bats? What is happening right now is the bats are slowly descending. Oh, and it's coming on my back. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky bat. <laughs> oh, it's kind of... Uh, Agonizing, you can hear the bat. Cannot see it though. It's stuck up there. Okay, so uh let's actually give it a shot to find me. Man, that bat. Uh, actually you know what? Oh Jesus! <coughs> oh damn bats. <laughs> oh they got free at the worst possible moment for me. In any case, we did not lose a lot of health, so... And that's the end of this episode then. If you enjoyed it, remember to press the like button to help my channel out, and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. To watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again guys, see you in tomorrow's episode.